Hello and welcome to Mastering Data Visualization with D3.js. My name is Ben Keller and I'll be your presenter for this course. Just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I'm a humble postdoctoral research fellow at the University of Heidelberg and I've been working in the field of scientific research, in particularly using the tools of scientific data visualization for about nine years now. I'm the contributor to a number of different scientific visualization toolkits, including YT and Python's matplotlib library. And if you're interested in the kind of research I do, some of my publications, as well as some of the fun projects I work on the side as part of my various hobbies, you can find them on my website at www.project2501.ca. Just to give you a bit of a course outline here, we're going to be going through a mastering level course, which means we're not going to be starting from the very rudimentary 101 level stuff. We're going to be assuming you already have a good understanding of web technologies and want to learn the D3 library to do data visualization on the web. And so in this course, we're going to begin by learning how to manipulate objects in the browser through the DOM using D3.js, we're then going to see all of the different tools that D3 provides in order to make plotting and data visualization quicker and more efficient. We're going to see how to make our visualizations interactive and kinetic using event handlers as well as animations. In the next section, we're going to take a look at how to plot geospatial or cartographic data using D3's geospatial plotting features. In the next section, we're going to take a look at how to build interactive, animated visualizations that actually change based on how you interact. And finally, we're going to apply everything we learn over the course of this series to build a real-world example in the form of a dashboard for visualizing the change in the value of a stock portfolio. With any given data visualization, Ultimately, the point of doing data visualization is to go from that data, that is raw numbers, through the visualization itself, some form of plot, some form of visual display of those numbers to gain insight. In other words, to see how different values interact with each other or how a certain thing evolves over time. And over the course of this series, you should learn how to use D3 in order to ultimately push towards that final goal of any kind of data visualization. That is, to gain insight from your data. It's not about producing pretty pictures. It's not about producing complex, multi-component figures. Ultimately, all data visualization is about insight. And by the end of this series, you'll know all of the tools that D3 provides in order to derive those insights. Because this is a mastering level course, you should already have a good understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as basic programming concepts like variables, functions, iteration, recursion, these sorts of things, as well as a rudimentary understanding of data visualization itself. You should know the difference between a line plot and a pie chart, the difference between a bar graph and a histogram the first major one of this series, we're going to see how to actually manipulate objects within the DOM using D3.js. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Look forward to going through this course with you.